Hey fabulous DIYers, Adriana Tabois here with Redesign Your Clothes. So in my last DIY, the mesh bathing suit DIY, you guys liked that tutorial from scratch. So I decided to do another one. This tutorial was requested by Co-Chemist. We're going to be DIYing ourselves this zipper flit A-line skirt. So if you guys are interested on learning how to create this skirt, let's begin. Ruler, measuring tape, hip curve ruler, scissors, fabric scissors, a 13 inch zipper, one inch elastic, one and a half yards of lightweight or medium weight ponte, and pattern paper. So first things first, you want to measure yourself. Here I'm measuring my waist. You want your waist measurement, then you want to measure your hips at the widest part. And then measure the length from your waist to your hip. With your pattern paper now, you're going to draw in a line from one end to the other end of the paper and fold your paper in half. Once your paper is folded in half, we're going to start at the top and we're going to draw across the waist measurement. Now, with the waist measurement, we're going to be using, since we're using half of a pattern right now, we're going to divide our waist measurement in half and then divide that again in half. So that way we have one quarter of the measurement. Then with the measurement that was from your waist down to your hip, you're going to measure down so you know where to start your hip measurement. So you're going to draw across from the center front your hip measurement. Then with your hip curve ruler, you're going to trace in the line from the waist down to the hip. Since the hip curve ruler has a curve to it, it'll be more accurate than drawing just a straight line with a straight ruler. Now, once you finish drawing that line in, you're going to drag the line straight down as far as wide as you want the hem to be. My hem is about 44 inches wide, full around. Um, and the front would be 22. So if you wanna make your hem wider, you can do so. Um, you're gonna also draw in the hem line where you want to stop the, the length of the skirt that's up to you to decide how long you want your skirt I went back and drew in my seam allowance I did not add additional seam allowance to this because it's a stretch style and I don't want it to be bigger than what it's supposed to be so I just went ahead and indicated I have a seam allowance you can do the same too so cut out the pattern and then you're going to retrace it on top of another piece of pattern paper to create your back I went ahead and drew a straight line like I did before and this time it won't be folded because we're going to be working with one half of the skirt because it's going to be cut twice. Again I drew in my seam allowance to indicate that and I added additional half an inch seam allowance to the edge. Then I went ahead and cut it out. Um, so now you see the pattern you have basically two pieces. Now um, here I'm drawing the waistline. I came an inch and a half down from the top at the front to draw in my waistline and then I cut it out and then I went ahead and took a piece of pattern paper and placed it underneath to add a half an inch. And repeat the process for the seam underneath the waistband, the bottom part of this, uh, the waistband. Repeat this process, you want to do that for the back side as well. So here's a total of all the pattern pieces that I have. Now back to the front, we're going to we're going to use the front skirt of the pattern, and we're going to um, draw a line straight down from the top to the hem of the skirt, and then I cut it out. Then once I finish cutting them out, I need to also put seam allowance again at the seam so when I'm ready to connect them they're not going to be it's not going to make the skirt smaller so you want to tape a piece of pattern paper and draw in your seam allowance a half an inch
now that it's complete, it should look like this, and you should have a total of five pattern pieces. Now it's time to cut out on the fabric. Um, the front of the skirt can uh, be cut out on one side of the fabric. You don't need to double it. Just cut it out regular. Now it's time for you to place your zipper. Now you don't have to use a zipper. I went ahead and used a zipper because I wanted to have the option to make my split higher. But you can connect the seams together and stop it at whatever place you want your skirt split to be. I went ahead and pinned my fabric, the seam edges to the zipper, as close to the zipper as possible. But I don't want it to be too close because I want you to see the zipper teeth. I went ahead and overlocked my edges way before and you want to top stitch a quarter of an inch just like I did right here. Next you want to also cut your skirt out, the back part of your skirt. The back part of my skirt I just realized that I could have cut it out against the fold but for instance if you don't have enough room with your fabric because I had enough room, if you don't have enough fabric you can cut it like I'm doing right now with the seam allowance and it should be fine. It's just going to have a seam in the back. So you're going to stitch them together straight down. I went ahead and overlocked them to give me a more of a professional finish. And um, now it's time for me to connect the skirts together, the front and the back portion. Uh, pin them together, then stitch them side seams together, like so. It should look like this, so your skirt's almost done, girl. And then now it's time for you to work on the waistband. The waistband now, you're going to fold your fabric on the fold, but along the side where the fabric stretches. You're going to fold it, place your pattern, the top part of the pattern onto the edge. As you see me doing here, cut it out, and then you're going to do the same for the back, but you're going to cut out the back twice. Then you're going to connect the back, center it back together. Then you're going to pin the front side seams of the waistband together as well, so you can have a full waistband all the way around. Once everything is all stitched up, you're going to fold your waistband like you see me, and now it's time to place it onto the skirt. Now on the skirt, you're going to place your waistband upside down, slide it on top of the skirt seams, and match the seams together, side seams together, back seams together, so that way everything can be nice and even. Pin everything to place, leave the center back a little bit of an opening, so that way you can apply your elastic later on. Stitch everything down with a zigzag stitch so that way it can stretch when you pull it on. Once everything is complete and stitched, you will now apply your elastic. Measure the elastic across the waistband. I went ahead and cut down about an inch to give me that little cinch at the waist because I didn't want it to be too loose. So you can do the same. And then you're gonna take a safety pin and run it through, run the elastic into the hole that you left open at the back and run it through all the way around the waistband tunnel now. Once everything is all the way around, pull it together, connect the elastic together with a half an inch stitch. And then now it's time for you to pull it in and distribute it evenly through the skirt. Then you're gonna zigzag stitch it close. I went ahead and overlocked the waistband to really clean it up. Then you wanna go ahead and do your hem. I did a one inch hem. You can do the same and after that, your skirt is done and ready to wear. So here is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always guys if you have an item in your closet that you wish to redesign let me know down in the comment section and I will select a commenter for the next video. Like, comment and subscribe. If you have done any of the redesign DIYs please make sure to tag hashtag redesign your clothes on Instagram or Facebook. See you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Previously on redesign your clothes.